sorry, I'm not much of a dancer. Hey, at least you're trying. Um, you just, you gotta let yourself go more, you know? Go where? No, no, I mean, um, just let yourself relax. Just listen to the music and let it move you. <laughs> you know what? Why don't we, um, why don't we sit this one out? Well, that was fun. Yeah. So, what do you want to do next? Pardon? What? No. What did I'm, I say? I'm just so shocked. Most men um, don't ask me what I want to do. You know, it's all about them. It must be boring. It is. I mean, for them. Okay then. Um, let's talk. Come on, tell me what you do. Well, I am what you might call a bodyguard. A bodyguard? Geez, I had you pegged for a lover, not a fighter. Actually, I am the lover. So, what about you? Me? Well, it's not much to tell. I, uh, I work at that bar where you met me. And other than that, I'm kind of drifting. Hmm. No man, no pets, no plan. You must be lonely. Sometimes. Sometimes it's not that bad, though. <laughs> you come from a big family? No, just me. Hmm, no brothers, no sisters? Just me. Okay. No mother, no father. Uh, my mom died a long time ago. And my father died a couple weeks ago. So it's just me. I'm sorry. You were close. Uh, yeah. Tarns, I really don't want to talk about this. Yeah, you're right. So like I said, I want to do whatever you want to do. Well, we're talking in a few minutes, and I think that what I'd like to do is uh, dance some more. The music's better at my place. Oh, I forgot my jacket. I'll get it. out of this. You would have lived a bit longer. I thought you were dead. I guess today's your day for making mistakes.
Card is alive. That's impossible. He died in the explosion. I don't know. And now he's after Sasha. He followed the same trail we did. Someone mind telling me what the hell's going on? You didn't fill her in, Torrance? Fill me in? We think that you may be in danger. You know, you might be right. Someone did try to kill me today. You know what I'm more interested in? How do you know so much about him? He killed your father. What are you doing, Sanders? Arming a little booby prize for banning schools. You people knew my father? We were with him when he died. Oh, so this is a setup. Our meeting wasn't a coincidence. You, 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 you planned the whole thing. Oh my God, I am so stupid. Should have known no man could possibly be that sweet without an agenda. Sasha! What your father was working on was very important. That's why Card is after you. My father was insane. He thought aliens were landing on the planet. Your father wasn't insane. Oh, great, great. You're all card-carrying members of the Freak Club, too. Let go. Come on. Who's ready to talk to that? Save it. Sasha, the man that is after you is still out there. He is not going to give up. And what does he want with me? Something he may have left with you. He said he gave all his research to the only person that he ever trusted. It's a prototype to create more, you idiot. We'll need tons of it scattered all around the earth to ensure our safety. But I have a backup safely stashed. The only person I trust. I guess you don't fully understand the relationship between my father and I. Uh, I saw him maybe twice in five years. I don't think that qualifies me as his most trusted confidant. When's the last time you saw him? A couple weeks ago. He, um, he showed up at my place completely out of his mind. What did he say? Aliens have landed. Poisonous clouds will block out the sun. The statue at the Lexi Plaza will destroy the earth. You know, same old, same old. The statue? Yeah, a statue. Look, I already said the man was delusional. When they found his body, it was in an abandoned subway tunnel where apparently he had been living for the last 10 years. I'm sorry, but these are not the actions of a sane man. If he was living in a subway tunnel, it's because he was hunted. Did he give you any files or any papers? No. Look, he was totally paranoid about information falling into the wrong hands. The man never even sent me a birthday card. Now, if we're done, I would like to leave. Sasha. What your father was working on could save the lives of everyone on this planet. I don't think I need to hear any more of this. You people are sick, okay? My father is dead. Let him rest in peace. Sasha. Leave me alone! Sasha! What? Are you going to kidnap me now, too? No, I'm not going to kidnap you. We're not going to kidnap you. We're just going to try to keep you alive. That's it. Yeah. Anything from you? Listen, Card, this guy's not gonna give up until he gets the information he needs. That's all I can tell you. Who are you? I mean, God, I have dated some winners in my life, but you take the cake. You are the craziest man I have ever you met. Know, I don't care if you call me crazy. Call me whatever you want. Just please trust me. No, no, I can't do it, Torrance. Uh, my life is complicated enough as it is. You know what? You're talking about your life. Well, I'm gonna tell you something. Your life is in danger. Right, from the, from the crazed UFO super freak, right? Yes, exactly. Taxi!
if you're not gonna leave me alone, then you better answer my question. Who are you? Who am I? You really want to know who I am? I wouldn't have asked. I'm from Terra. And where exactly is that supposed to be? A million light years from here. I take it back. You are crazier than my father. You actually think you are an alien. Come on. Actually, I am. Come on. What am I supposed to do for you to listen to me? The only thing oh. I want to listen to is the sound of your footsteps walking away. Listen, I can't do that. You see, your father gave his life to save this world. So we owe him something. You owe him something. Anything. Just please trust us. Help us. Help us. What Saunders told his daughter about a statue that's going to destroy the world must have meant something. A statue that destroys the world? I've heard of bad art, but that's ridiculous. No, I don't think art has anything to do with it. Here we go. Lexi Plaza. That looks pretty tame. Hold it. What do you see? That sculpture looks like it could be Theron in design. It's entitled Happy Ever After, donated this year with a grant from Eternity Research Group. What do you think it is? I'd have to see it up close. Let's go. to be a dangerous there and weapon it looks a whole lot like a statue humans confuse form and essence far too often i'll remember that next time you buy something from an infomercial what is it this is no statue it's there in technology what's it supposed to do i don't know it's hard to read Modules for energy exchange, molecular reconfiguration. What is it, Nathaniel? He's done it. He's duplicated my brother's work. He's created a device that will shift the Earth's atmosphere, and this is one of the generators. He's probably placed hundreds of these all over the world. He'll have to activate them all at the same time if he wants to cover the whole planet. What do we do? I don't know. This is more complex than anything I've ever seen. Can we shut it down? There are traps built in it. I don't think we can shut it down from here. Quick, Laura, run! Here we are, brothers and sisters together, counting down the hours until our moment of completion. Joining us will be those who have opposed our noble efforts. One human and one Theron, the traitor Ethaniel and Laura Keating. They will be present to view the shift firsthand. The woman will be the first human to die, and Ethaniel, having chosen to throw his lot in with the humans, will die with her. Bring them here.
despite the disappearance of Thorber, we have managed to reach our goal. Behold. Stuck. Look, I'm getting a little desperate here, okay? Things have been happening in my life over the last couple days that don't fit in. I mean, I don't understand them. I don't know if I believe in them. I don't even know if I want to believe in them. I wish you open your mind. See, that device your father talked about was real. I saw it. It's a very hyper-energized little element. Just waiting for the moment when it's exposed to banning shifted atmosphere. The atmosphere will react with the unstable isotopes in the element and create pure oxygen. Yeah, his device to save the planet. The man we are fighting is going to alter the atmosphere. What? Mm -hmm. It will kill all life on this planet. Why would anyone want to do that? To create a world for his own kind. Okay, so you're telling me that this guy's an alien too? Yeah. Do you ever listen to yourself and hear how absolutely insane you sound? Well, it's strange because your father found a way to stop him. And I know it sounds strange, crazy. You know what would be really nice right now? Proof. Oh, that's exactly what I was hoping your father left you. I told you. My father didn't leave me anything. Your father was really into his work, and I'm sure he left something behind. I was going to allow you a few more hours, Ethaniel. But now, you're about to become an even more dramatic example of how effective my device will be. I hope you enjoy your brief return to your native atmosphere before it dissolves your lungs and strips the flesh from your bones. See if you can get at it. A knife? Yeah. Carefully, please. Got it. Okay. Place the knife against the cuffs. Okay. We have to stop banning before he activates the device. Just wait. You sure all this G.I. Joe stuff is really necessary? I mean, you might have scared them off already. These people don't scare off. They don't give up until they get what they want. Then why are you still here? You got a death wish or something? No, I don't give up either. Stick with me, you might be okay. Oh my God. Looks like someone was looking for the same thing we are. You're starting to become a believer now? You could have done this. Oh, come on, I was with you. I mean, you're friends. You know it was not us. I'm telling you the truth, it's Banning. The same man who had your father killed. If you're so sure, then why don't you go to the police? I can't go to the police. Yeah, because you know that they tell you you're crazy. Benning is a powerful man, and he owns a lot of people. Yeah. Well, then what am I supposed to do, huh? Look at this! I'm just supposed to sit idly by while the rest of my life gets trashed? What are they going to do next? I don't know. I'm just 
going to try to keep you safe. That's it. You're doing a great job. How are we going to get them to move? When I get their attention, you're ready to go. Waste your breath, Nathaniel. You're going to need it. Well, I obviously can't stay here. You're right. Stay with me. You know something? Before we met, I was perfectly safe. And since then, I've been grabbed. I've had a gun stuck in my ribs. I've been almost kidnapped. And look at my home. You know, I, I don't think I need your kind of protection. If Benny is as close to succeeding as we think he is, then nobody is safe anywhere. If this is all true, how can you be so calm? Are you ready to die? I knew it was coming. But I believe it can be stopped. So did your father. Your father loved you very much. How can you be so sure? Can you love someone? Even when they keep telling you that you're crazy? starting to believe so. I'm sorry. That's okay. I for everything I said. I know. The others will die soon, Torrance, but for you, it will end here. Why did you run away from me? Because you're a coward? Or because you know you can't win. You're wasting your time with these human sorrows? Really? <laughs> He's gonna be dead by tomorrow. <laughs> Where's Laura? I think you should be concerned with your own safety right now. Where is she, Benning? It doesn't matter where she is. She can't escape the shift. And in a matter of hours, she will be dead along with the rest of her kind. You can't do this. I can. And I will. The question is, where do you fit in? Do you want to be part of Theron history? Or just an unfortunate casualty along the way. If you're writing our history, I'd be happy to die with the humans. You're as foolish as your brother. <laughs> He's still out there, all by himself, trying to stop me. A dying fool trying to save a dying world. My brother does what his philosophy demands. Your philosophy? What good has it done him? What good has it done you? Both of you would have been princes in my new world. The most intelligent and powerful of all. Now all you'll be is dead. Think about that, Ethaniel. <laughs> you can't save her, Torrance. Sasha, do you have anything to tie him up? Um, yeah, yeah. Uh -uh. 
No. No! What's this? You just took my life. No, but I'm considering it. This is some kind of protective shield. And a transformer. It's going to happen fast. And when it does, you're going to be vulnerable. What? What's going on? This is his protection until he can revert to his stand form. Gee. He's close, isn't he? Benning is ready to complete the shift. Our only hope is that we revert to our natural forms in time. Yeah. And the humans will die all around us. But we will be safe. I don't think you'll need this. You better hope your girlfriend knows where her father's anti-shift device is or you will die with her. Well, what if this freak is right? And we can't stop him. I, I don't know where this anti-shift device is. Listen. I came to this planet to stop Benny from destroying it. I'm not going to give up now. How? By dying along with the rest of us? You have to take this if you have a chance to survive. Come on. Survival doesn't mean anything if the people you care about are dead. Hmm? I can't believe this is happening. Listen. Hey. Listen. If your father found a way to stop this, so can we. Why didn't he just tell me? I mean, I don't see him for five years. He shows up, he gives me a, a necklace and neglects to tell me how to save the planet. How come you didn't mention this? What? It's just a locket. The answer, the way, the truth, and the light. Yeah. Ever since I found out what Benny was really trying to accomplish, I've been working on a way to stop him, you know. To reverse the shifting process in the Earth's atmosphere. You found it? No, I'm going to sell you a lottery ticket. Of course I found it. The answer. The way. The truth. <laughs> and the light. You know, that's what your father said before he was killed. And he said it would protect me. chance to stop the shift no no chance of that i know you've never joined me but it will still amuse me to keep you alive and let me suffer to let you watch the new world come into being and to see how wrong you've been in opposing me who knows you might even find yourself admitting you were wrong i'd rather kill myself I believe you would. I have to congratulate you on your perseverance, your commitment to fulfilling your mission, however futile. Don't underestimate my partner. Laura.
this is all that will be left of Laura. If I let you live, you'll have to settle for women of our own species from now on. Would that be so hard? The species doesn't matter. It's her strength. It's her character. Qualities as transient as her human body. They will die with her. There are others out there, Banning. You've made too many enemies. Like Torrens. Myrock. In human form, they're as defenseless against the shift as the rest of this planet. Get it into your mind, Ethaniel. There isn't time for them to stop me anymore. In less than an hour, Earth will become a Theron paradise. And the human hell. Please, there isn't time. If only I could trust you. Believe that you shared my goals. But I know you too well. You'd never turn your back on the Keating woman. Never mind, though. I look forward to seeing your face as you watch this planet and your precious humans wither and die. Nathaniel. Okay, where are you? Outside his headquarters. Where? St. Martin's in Marblehead. Looks like a huge bank tower. Near Union Club. Okay, Sasha and I are coming. Torns, we don't have much time. I know. Just stay in contact around the way. Lovers reunite. How touching. Well, this is the place. We are too late. All right, take this. What the hell is it? It's called a Karamas. It's very powerful. What do I do with it? You point and you shoot. You know? You've got to be kidding. No, it will be for you, okay? Come on. This is the one. We're there. Okay, so now what? Hold on. There it goes. What are you doing? We have to find a lab with proper equipment. We're going to shed some light on this subject. Let's go. We are just minutes away from home. Home, sweet home. All that's left is to hyper-energize the system. The humans own power grid. 
will supply the energy for their demise. Ten minutes to full operating capacity. Can't be happening. I'm sorry to ruin your fairy tale, Laura, but not everyone can live the happy ending. Real life is about irony. The evil versus the good, the ends versus the means, the defeated, watching everything they fought so hard to protect wither away and die. so happy we could spend this moment together. Victory smells even sweeter than I thought it would. Nine minutes and counting. Well, this place should have everything we need. Easy. Careful. Hey, I mixed a pretty mean martini. All right, we need a shot of propylene. Got it. Couple ounces of sodium pentothal. Over here. Okay. Good. And a sprinkle of Louis Got it. All right. Okay. You do the honors. Another intrusion. Find them. I need the time for the device to build its charge. Security. You know what to do. Yes, Mr. Baring. That's amazing. Thanks to your father. There's only enough to protect a small section of the Earth. But if we can get to Benning's command center, maybe we can create enough stability to shut down the whole system. Come on, let's go. Control. Disable all Theron weaponry in the building. Come out where we can see you. Now! I thought you said point and shoot. He must have a dampening field. So now what? Cocktail hour. seconds to maximum charge. and you, you gave it up. No human I know would have made that sacrifice. You did. Lord. I love you. I love you. How moving.
those tears, Ethaniel? I'm appalled by your weakness for the human race. But then again, it's fitting, is it not, that one so fond of humanity should die with humanity? Only seconds now. One step closer and I push the button. He's gonna do it anyway, shoot him! You do and the world ends. You won't live to see it. I'll take that chance. No! Next on Sci-Fi, Farscape. We went out that day just to have fun. A few friends, a few laughs. Something out there killed two people in the last two days. We don't come back until that thing is dead. Bruce Boxleitner, Carol Alt in the Sci-Fi Pictures original, Snakehead Terror, this Thursday at 7 on Sci-Fi. Plus, during the movie, get a Sci-Fi Essential sneak peek. Brought to you by Warner Brothers' new motion picture, Catwoman. Do you like bad girls? In theaters, Friday, July 23rd. Experience the new issue of Sci-Fi Magazine. Get drawn into the web of this summer's biggest movie event, Spider-Man 2. Walk the fine line between woman and creature with Halle Berry as Catwoman. And get to know the elite team behind Sci-Fi's new series, Stargate Atlantis. Subscribe now and save almost 50% off the new stand price. Call or log on. 